I am Princess Marigold, and the book title is Cinderella's in the Glass Hill. The author is Gail Carson Levine. The genre, fantasy. Reading level, 5.5. Point value, 5. Now take the quiz score yet. I am Cinderella, and the setting never really happened. And it takes place in snickering on Snokes in Biddle. It's a very fast read, it's very interesting, and you don't want to put the book down. Cinder Ellis for the character name. He is the main character. He's not very handsome, he's clumsy, and he likes to make a bunch of magic powders and treats. Um, Bert, and he's kind of mean. Yeah, I'm kind of mean and stuck up. He's like thinks he's better than everybody, and he's also Cinderella's uh, older brother. And Ralph, he is also Cinderella's brother, and he's basically the same way as Bert, and him and Bert always ignore Cinderella's. I'm Ralph, and Marigold is a princess, and she's very lonely because her dad is always away on quests looking for weird things. Um, she has pretty brown hair, she's tall, and she has a cat named Ap Apricot. Simile, page 9. Rising like a ballerina from the tiniest tip. King Humphrey the Third, Marigold's father. He's always away on quests, and he never brings back the right thing. Simile. Page nine, it's um, rising like a ballerina from a tiny, tiny teacup. And then there's not really a metaphor. And then in, the conflict is he wanted to help. Uh, Cinderella's wanted to help by staying in the barn and trying to get the um, stuff to not eat the hay. He thought it was really um, horses, and it was, but... His brother thinks it's goblins. And then the imagery, it's on page 25. It's between 24 and 26. It doesn't really have a page number, but um, it's when Cinderella is getting approached by a horse. I'm King Humphrey, and the message of this book is to be nice to everybody, because you don't know what people are going to turn out to be when they're older. I'm Princess Marigold, and the other message or theme of this book is everybody will tr find true love eventually. And another message is that when you're mean, people might be mean back. Cinder Ellis lives on a farm with his two brothers, Ralph and Bert, after his parents have died. And Cinder Ellis wants to be really good friends with Ralph and Bert, because Ralph and Bert are best friends, and he wants to be a part of their friendship. But Ralph and Bert don't let them, so Cinder Ellis tries to make a bunch of magic powders to try and impress them. They don't listen. Marigold is a very small child, and she was only two. Her mother died, so she was with her father. And her father is always away on trips, so she gets very lonely. And he goes on a trip, or a quest but one day he brings back a cat instead of what he wanted so he gives her the cat and she loves the cat and he never abandons her so she will always love him and the cat's name is apricot cinder ellis goes and tries to find different ways to get his brothers to like him by one staying in the barn because every night not every night, but once a night, every year, on the same day, the hay disappears out of their hair field. And, Cin and his brother thinks that they're goblins, but Cinder Ellis knows that they're horses. So he stays up all night in the barn looking for horses. And every year he finds a horse, and he says he will give it to his brothers if his brothers believe him that he saved the horse, that he saved the hay. But, he never, but his brothers never even listen to him, so he gets to keep all three of the horses. Okay, Cinderella has got to keep Shazam, Gajam, and Shazam. And he uses all three horses and his powders to get up the glass hill to get to Marigold. And on his first try, Marigold throws him an apple thinking he is going to be a good soldier, or a good king. And then the second try, she he gets another apple. And on the third one, he gets the last apple. But 
Marigold puts um, a liquid walnut oil down so his powder doesn't work and he slides down. And then at the end of the day, King Humphrey comes looking for the person with the armor and the horses. And at the end, three days later, after Marigold finds all the golden apples with all three golden armors and all three horses, then her and him get married. Cinder, Ellis, and Marigold do three days later, and they st and Ralph and Bert came to the wedding, but they don't talk ever anymore. And Cinderella talks to Marigold endlessly every day with their cat. And they get along so well, and neither of them will be lonely ever again. The end. When we do the video, you shouldn't wear the hat, okay? Okay. But it's so cool! Stop it. <gasps> Shut on a hit stand! You screwed it up. You forgot King Humphrey. We can edit this part out, Jordan. Let's keep going. It's fine. Wet season coming. Uh, rain. Cinder Alice. That's your new name. Because you have Cinder on your head.